Hello, hello, Webflow and FinSuite community. How's it going? My name is Joe, and we're going to have the FinSuite monthly product update today, where we'll go over all of the products, all of the things that we're doing at FinSuite. And the goal of this is complete transparency. We want to tell you what we're working on, what we delivered, what we're delayed on, what we are going to work on. That's what this is all about, that transparency in product development. Before we get into that, let's say hello to some people in the audience. Uh, starting from the top, we have WizDev, Yasin, what's up? How's it going? We have Joseph Bates, hello, hello. Sylvan, hello. Jordan, Michael, Raul, uh, School of Prophecy. CMS Bridge, please. Yeah, we're talking CMS Bridge. That's the last item, and we have good news for you. Okay, a couple more. Chad, Anthony, Aiden. Andreas and Filippo. Hello, hello. Now, let's get into this. Let's get right into the details here. We'll be going over Wiz, we'll be going over attributes, we'll be going over FinSuite components and our um, Webflow apps initiatives, as well as Client First and CMS Bridge. So let's get into it. The first product that we're looking at today is Wiz. Wiz is really turned out to be one of our core, core products. We are seeing huge success with this and the people using it. And a big part of that is our big step forward with Embed 2.0. So Embed 2.0 now becomes the official default Embed library for WISD. The Embed 1.0 is officially set to legacy. This is a major turning point in WIS where we are we've really completely updated the system to be more efficient, more effective, and really drive the web app results that our users are looking for. So huge update. Um, if you've been using Embed 2.0, if you've been using WIS, you may have experience with this already, but now this is the standard. Embed 1.0 is a thing of the past. New features in WIS. We have built automatic detection of WISD attributes on page reload, persistent X-ray after reloading the canvas. We have display draft requests in the data store and improved security around REST secrets. So if you caught us um, last month, you heard that we released WIS secrets. This is a big update, allows you to use private API keys inside WIS. Very cool. So some nice quality of life improvements there for WIS. And we also have a whole list of UI and UX updates to the configurator tool. So in the configurator, the top buttons in the sidebar um, have now been reordered to follow a, a different, more logical flow. The theme toggle has been moved into the settings panel and the refresh attributes button has been moved into the reload dropdown. So again, Another list of improvements for Wiz there, and really all good news from Wiz. If you are using Wiz, you already know its power. If you're thinking about it, um, talk to someone who's been using it. We've I, I just can't understate how much success we've seen from the people using this app. So very exciting. Thank you so much for all you Wiz users um, and future Wiz users. Let's move on to attributes. As you may know, we are working on a huge rebuild of attributes. V2 is around the corner. The docs are rebuilt. We have our new solutions ready to rock and roll. And we are now redoing all of our tutorials, screen records, screenshots. It's a huge project and it's going very well. We're finishing one of the most important solutions with V2, and that's our list solution. We'll talk a little bit more about the list solution in a couple slides, but that's a big one. It's going to be a huge improvement to how we work with lists inside and outside of Webflow. Uh, FinSuite Plus users, great time to join. If you're interested in attributes, we'll be releasing everything to FinSuite Plus users first. Um, and we will, of course, be talking about more of this next month. List solution. Previously, we told you that it combines filter, load, and sort, but now we have taken it a step further, and now list includes all of the CMS solutions in attributes. So what does that mean? Filter, load, 
sort, combine, nest, previous next, select, slider, and tabs. All of these will now be in one solution called list. Uh, and this is this is a great effort to not have so many different solutions on the page and so many different solutions on one specific component, right? If you had a, a filter load and sort on a page, which is very common, you'd need three different solutions for that. Now it all fits into one along with all of the other things that you may want to do with a list. Each of these docs pages will still have their own clonable. It's not like we have one tutorial for, for list. List is a big solution. It's going to be spread out across a lot of learning material. And it doesn't just work with CMS lists. It works with all different lists. We'll get a visual of that in a couple of slides. Uh, flashcards. We talked about flashcards last week. And now we are going to put them inside the extension. So if you are a FinSuite extension user, we are going to move this flashcard type information to Designer. So right inside FinSuite extension, you can see the solution scripts, the attribute names, and the attribute values, all without leaving Designer. And here's that visual of it working with not only CMS lists, but all lists. So if you're a WISD user, if you are building something custom, if it is just not in Webflow CMS, you can still use all of our tools. And that's why we're calling it list. It's no longer CMS filter. It is list filter. It's list slider, list tabs. Um, and taking apart that CMS, it really expands it to other types of development inside Webflow. So like I said, WISD, uh, it's going to be integrated with WISD. That is part of the release of Attributes version 2. Okay, and last slide on here, new ways to declare instances. We've been working a lot on how we explain this to you and the tutorials around it. So the way that we can tie different solutions and elements and settings all together is through instances. So we have a whole new instance system. We can declare it on the elements. We can declare it with common parents of the elements. It's super, super clean. If you know how CSS works, you'll understand how instances work. It has a lot of the same mentalities there. So this is a big one. Um, V2 overall is, is very big. Uh, and this is one of the changes that is big with it. So that's it for attributes. Working real hard on that. Um, FinSuite Plus users, you'll get the first look at all of our, our work there. And next month, we're going to have a nice big update for that. Webflow apps. This is our FinSuite component project. We've been talking about this for a while. We have a lot of progress on it, and we have a status update. Uh, we are temporarily pausing this project. Um, this is due to performance issues with Webflow APIs. Um, there's a, a bit of a problem with some of the upgrades that we need to make inside the apps marketplace. And it has uh, major performance implications on our FinSuite Components app. So it's a temporary pause. E fixes to be implemented by Webflow. We do not want to pause this, but we are at a point where we feel like we need to pause this. So the reason we're saying this, it's about full transparency, right? I said that in the beginning. We want to tell you exactly what we're working on, what we're not working on, what we've succeeded with, and what's delayed. So. There's a bit of a delay here. We're still coming. We're still testing these, right? We're still working on them, but um, we can't progress past a certain point without these uh, key fixes to the API. So all going well there, except for the delay. Um, and still very excited about this product. It's going to be a huge hit once we can release it. OK, let us continue here to client first. Client first. Short list, this is not an active development. We, you know, we released version 2.1. There's no further updates to that until Webflow releases, let's say an update to variables. And until then, we are adding to our translations, right? We still have people translating this documentation and we are posting those as the translators finish. So we have 
uh, we've added Portuguese to the uh, to the to the list of languages. Very cool. We got a, a bunch of people at Fincy from Brazil. Huge fan of Brazil talent. So I am really excited to see this this new language launch and bring more people uh, into into the Webflow ecosystem. Great. Now moving on to that CMS bridge product. This is exciting. Uh, what we shipped last month, we submitted CMS Bridge. It is officially in the hands of the Airtable Marketplace team. We are actively communicating with them on our submission. We have no idea how long it will take. The first time we submitted to them, it took about three weeks, but we don't know, right? It could be submitted. It could be accepted tomorrow. It could be accepted in a month. Not sure. But this thing is submitted. Um, you know, I didn't actually plan this, but we have, um, yeah, I was going to share a landing page, but we don't have it. Um, and yeah, we are going to, we're just excited about this one. Uh, it's been a long time. If you've been following our CMS bridge, noble releases so really excited to to go and release this one um, if you're interested just look out for the next update i would say by next product update this thing should be live and we'll have an update for you on there okay now moving forward that's the end of the product line now i want to encourage everybody here to come in two days to our product team meetup session. We have all the product leaders from FinSuite two days after this stream on Thursday talking about whatever questions you have. Questions about products, questions about our strategy, questions about your own products or how you would approach um, any kind of product-based marketing inside the Webflow ecosystem. You have the most talented product people at FinSuite inside this meeting and it's available to all FinSuite Plus users. So if you're a FinSuite Plus user, you'll see that on your calendar. And yeah, it's always a um, good Q&A there. So please come join us if you're FinSuite Plus. If you're not, check out the FinSuite Plus benefits. Okay, and that's it. I like these, these product updates. Short, sweet, right to the point. We're telling you exactly what we're doing. Full transparency here. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, really, really great to see everybody here coming and supporting FinSuite. And we are working hard to make sure that we can help you succeed with Webflow using our products. Talk to you soon. Reach out to us on X, on LinkedIn, on whatever platform you use. Say hi, come meet the team. We are ready to help you win. All right. Thanks, everyone. Talk soon. See you next month.